Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. Today, I am trying to do things to help myself get more organized. So I have been watching some videos by some other people um, and seeing what they're doing because, I don't know, I think I'm kind of brain dead most of the time. My little jar of butterflies fell over over there. Um, so I was watching a video that a friend of mine had done a little while ago. Her name is Rita Jensen, and she made what she called the never-ending ephemera folder, holder, something like that. She did say that she did her variation from watching somebody else's video, whose name I can't remember, but I watched Rita, and um, I liked what she did, so I am going to try my version of it. So what Rita did was she had a book, um, a large hardcover book, which she cut uh, just the covers off. And, you know, she's not using the spine and she didn't use the paper. What I am using is um, I had a couple of these and I think I have a couple more floating around somewhere. Uh, there, here's another one. Um, calendar. Oh, this was the calendar. And I save all these calendars. I love these calendars. Um, but I never know what to do with them because, of course, they're copyrighted. So I wanted to make the book as large as I could. Uh, something that would hold... Um, I'm just feeling something lumping, lumpy under here. Um, something that would hold uh, whole pieces, whole sheets of paper. Now, my paper um, right now with my printer, um, I have to... I have. I don't have borderless, so I have to cut the white off, but I hope someday to get another printer that will print borderless. So I wanted to make sure that this, this would be big enough to hold whole sheets of paper. So that being said, I've already done uh, three, I'm going to make two of these and I've already done three covers or three of the, of the four covers that I need. So we have these. Okay. And this is going to be the one we're going to be working on. And then I did this one. And now I'm just going to show you how I did this. Okay. Because I used 12 by 12 paper, which I'm not sure is fitting in the frame here, but it's 12 by 12. And these um, covers are 11 and three quarters by nine and a half fish. They're probably not even. So uh, 11 and three quarters by nine and a half. So you're going to see that it doesn't leave much when we glue it down. So for right now, let me do this. So this is a nice, a nice heavyweight card. Like I said, Rita used uh, an actual book cover. I'm using uh, this out of this bottle because these holes are always larger than the the little icing bottle thing. So when I'm doing a larger amount of um, glue like this, I want to make sure I can get it out pretty quickly. So get this glued down and then I'll show you what else I have done. I have done a good majority of it already more or less um so that you know this wasn't two hours long <laughs> uh because i don't seem to be able to move very fast when it comes to some of this stuff so okay so let me just cap that off because it's gonna want to okay make sure you have it right side up to yourself this one is well both of mine were directional if you don't have directional you know, all the better. But now I'm going to do it this way. Top is here, bottom is here. Okay. And you could tell by that little label and I'm going to turn it here because I'm going to leave about a half an inch on the, le the edge that's closest to me, but you'll see, I think you can see, yeah, that I have very little of an edge on either end. And I'm going to show you how we solve that problem. Um, so that the inside, when you glue the, the panel to the inside of this, and I'm going to show you how that works, um, 
I'm just trying to get as much glue to these edges as possible. Um, nothing will show. Okay, that's the main thing. All right. You can see I don't have quite enough glue here, so I'm just going to take my art glitter glue and go along the edge there. And just push that down. Every time I pick this little dirty, very used thing up, I realize that I did not put new ones up on the side. Now I'm just using my kind of, this is what I use to cut cardboard kind of thing, and I'm not doing anything too fancy. I'm not worried about how straight it is, okay? We will use this piece, okay? So what I'm going to do, well, first what I'm going to do is cut my corners a little bit, like so, okay? Just like that. Well, I hope I didn't just knock the camera. I think I hit it, but I'm not sure I did anything to it. I'm gonna fold up this little edge and I'm pretty sure I'm in camera for you. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. And you can see it's not much of an edge, okay? So what we're gonna do is go ahead and fold that and I'm gonna glue that down. I'm sorry I'm holding this up, but let's try to get the edge of this little piece. Okay. All right. Get the glue off of there and go ahead and push this down. Okay. We're going to go do the other end. Now, what I'm going to do on this one, I did not do on the first three because I glued all these edges down and then I went in and filled this part in with that spare piece, that piece that I just cut off. Um, and I realized that I could have done something to make it a little cleaner. Now, this is for me. This is just a project um, ephemera folder. So it's not going anywhere. So it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. But um, I think I would like to see it just a tad neater um, and less likely to wear, let's say. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this piece and we're gonna lay it down here, okay? And it doesn't matter, I can do it this way, but either way you really, you know, really couldn't see it too well. So we're gonna lay it down on here. We're gonna take my scissors. We're gonna come along and we're gonna just snip a piece off. That's just a stray little piece now, we don't need that. And we're gonna cut this down somewhat down the middle. Again, I am not a straight cutter even if you give me a line. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, push this up a little bit so you can see, I think I'm gonna put some glue on this and I'm not inking these, I, you know, not, you know, not the cover. You'll see what I do ink later, but there's not much. So, get some glue on these guys. to the edges as much as possible. All right, and we're gonna put that over that edge. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfectly centered, but you do wanna make sure that, okay, that it does cover. So now let's go ahead and do this one. Now the back of this card is a little creamy colored. Back of the paper is white. Now this was just Hobby Lobby um, 12 by 12 single sheets that you can buy, obviously. Uh, you saw, I think, the label, you know, the pricing label and the, the SKU, the barcode and all that kind of thing. So, um, okay. So let's take this one. Yeah, see, it's paper, something, the paper, 
something. But anyway, they're like 69 cents, or at least when I bought this, it was 69 cents. It's probably a couple or three years ago. All right. So we have that piece in there. And it doesn't matter, you know, which way the pattern goes. It really doesn't. So what I had done before was I did all four corner, uh, all four sides and folded them over. And then I put this piece on top. You can't, I didn't want to try to glue this down and glue the small piece over because I thought it would be less stable. So gluing it on top of the that little narrow strip that I first folded and put down, I think makes it more stable. But these ends will now not be exposed, which they were before. So on my other sheets or my other covers, I should say. So all I'm doing here is bending these in. So I've got a good start. Okay. All right. And then we're going to go ahead, put our glue. This is something I had learned when I was looking at scrapbooking, doing scrapbooks, is you glue along the edge which I don't know how often I actually do a cover on camera, if I ever do. Um, but yeah. But it does help keep, put my little thing down there. It does help keep, um, you know, the paper glued right everywhere as possible. And that little section of glue can um, help reinforce the edge along the end of the paper so that it doesn't wear away as quickly. Okay. So just go ahead and do that. Now, this, I'm um, now, this is, um, done. I just wanted to show you what I used to make the cover and how I did cover the cover. I'm going to put this one aside with the other music cover um, that I had because we're going to work on the other one. I'm going to make two of these and in making two of these, this will hold four projects for me. Okay. Four projects. So we have this one and it goes, I don't know how it goes. It goes this way. I can't read music. So I think it goes like that. All right. So I'm just going to take these covers and we move them to the side. And I'm going to take these covers down. So I already did this on here. I put the edging on so everything is good. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use these covers. But what I did was. Okay. These were file folders. Hanging file folders. Okay. You know. Let me. I'm going to get these out of the garbage here. Hang on a second. They have these things in them. Okay. And they hang. So all I did was I opened them up. Now these are all cut apart, but let's just then let me let me do it on one that looks like a hanging folder. Hang on, because I haven't done the edging on this. So say this was the folder itself, okay? And that little that little guy was inside. Okay. So all I did was if I can get them apart, and you can see where they had been glued. And I saved these because um, I figured I could probably use them somewhere. So that would be the file folder. All right. So I just peeled this up, took out the metal thing. I threw the metal thing away, but I did save this. Now you'll see that there's glue here. And that is why I did this. Part of the reason why I did, I taped the edges of all of the pages. I did cut them apart because it works the way this folder needs to be made. I believe works better than keeping the, um, the file folders together. Okay. I think in my head, I think. So I figured, you know what, before I put it together that way and find out I messed it up, let's just do it the way Rita said. Okay. So this is what she did. Now I'm not going to put, she put her pockets on first. She said the person that she watched did not, they put their pockets on last. Now the reason why I'm going to put my pockets on last, there's two reasons. Um, one, because they are narrower than the book, so it doesn't really matter. What I did like was because we use, and I dropped it on the floor over here before, to make the pages, bind them together, you use clear tape. And I'm sorry about this dirty thing on here. I'll turn it that way so maybe you don't see it. Um, 
when she did it, and well, let's just see, these go like this, okay? These are going to be the first set of pockets. And she put her pockets on first before she taped her spines, let's say. And I think that's a good idea. Now, she used vellum. I chose to just use cardstock because for me, I felt the vellum was just a little too pricey for me to just do this with it. Um, and I can, I'll explain as I go along what I mean for the pockets to be. But when you put the tape along the edges, I think it helps, even though you're gluing them down, it helps to reinforce it. What she did when the tape came over the edge of the pocket is she just took her little uh, craft knife and just sliced the tape to the end of the pocket. So she had the full pocket, it was taped in here and then taped here, okay? So it gave reinforcement, which I liked, especially for a vellum pocket. She also made like her own uh, torn paper washi, like from the packing paper or something like that. She just stamped on it and glued it and folded it over to give a nice edge. This is a pretty decent card. Um, if I find over the years or over time that it's wearing a little bit too much or looking a little frayed, I can just put a line or two of glue down and take regular washi tape and just go along the edge. And I think that would suffice to make it strong again. Um, so anyway, so before we start this though, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape the pages together and I'm gonna show you what makes it never ending. Okay, so I'm gonna put these to the side. We're gonna take one of these and what she did, and I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. How far down? Well, I guess I don't wanna go too far down. Okay, we've got some washi here that I used to hold it down to tape them with the packing tape, which was this. Okay, sticky, very sticky uh, craft packing tape. And I edged it because these are older and I was a little concerned about that. So what she did was she used her packing tape. Okay, I'm going to tear a little bit more than I need. She lined it up, which I did not. So let me just put this here. <laughs> she lined it up on the line, which I did not. Okay, let's try to do that again. All right, I got that one under here. Oh, and by the way, there's an X on the front and the back, okay? Because the X, the, or front and back panel, because that is gonna be glued to the cover. So we'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so we're going to go here and we're going to put it at about an inch because this is about two inch tape. Okay, and then I'll just try to peel this back, see if I can keep it in the same place. Okay, pick this up, turn that around, line it back up again on the line. Okay, I'm lining it up straight here, hopefully. Then you're gonna take your next piece. And like I said, you don't have to edge these. What she did, what Rita did, was she took two pieces of cardstock and just glued them together. She had some cheaper, thinner cardstock that she probably wasn't gonna use for anything. So she glued two sheets together to make hers. I chose to use these old uh, file folders. Okay, and I'm gonna stand up because you need, she says, about a 16th of an inch between, okay, so maybe about there, I'm getting glare on the from the tape too. Okay, so probably, probably about there. I'm trying to make sure it's straight. My eyes don't do too well. Okay, and then you're gonna bring this up here and bring this up here. Okay, I hope I got tape that's gonna stick. <laughs> doesn't look like it wants to. Okay. All right. And then you're going to do another piece of tape. Okay. And just go across like so. Okay. And then that can come up and you can fold this one. It may stick better on itself. Let's hope. All right, like that. I don't think I folded that one very well, but that's okay. All right, now we want to make sure where's my X. Okay, there's my X. So that one's going to go like that. So as I go, I'm going to fold it down so I can keep track. 
Now this does not seem to want, my packing tape does not seem to want to stick to the other packing tape that I have underneath it. So I may, I'm gonna do that as I go. I'm gonna just go ahead and get my Fabri-Tac over here, a three in one. And I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna try to, let me lift it up if I can all the way across. And I'm just gonna add some glue. Now, this was something I didn't anticipate. So it's an extra step, but, and I'm not worried if I can see, you know, that glue. I don't really care because, you know, <laughs> it's just for me. So I'm hoping it will stick. Okay, if it doesn't, and I'm thinking it may not, okay. I don't like this, so this is what I'm gonna do. I am going to, somebody says, they're very happy when I make mistakes and correct them on camera. I was like, well, here we go again. <laughs> here we go again. Yeah, it really doesn't wanna stick to this. So I wanna try to make sure, I'm leaning it so that I can see the shine. I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully use, where does this end? I can't tell, here it is. Um, use the, um, is that everything? Yeah, use the uh, craft tape again. Does not have to be the clear tape, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and try to put this back down. Let me stick that there. And I'm going to just try to, I have a little bit of glue on the back of this now, so it wants to stay stuck. All right. And I'm going to get this. This is very sticky. One thing I did, though, find out I'm going to try to make it as even as possible. Whoops, not like that. I'm not. Okay. Um, okay, there we go. So, knowing what I know now, I probably would not have taped part of these. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to fold this little edge over. Okay, and this little edge over. And I'm going to keep standing and sitting, probably, so the sound of my voice will change as I get closer to the speaker on the phone. So let's do another one here. Okay. All right. So that is that side. All right, and let's go ahead and fold that down. Okay, now we know the side with the X, which I don't know if you can see it, but there's an X on there, there it is. Um, that's gonna get glued down, so we're not gonna worry about that one. So we're gonna take this, and if you use clear tape and not this packing tape, then you probably won't see all that um, edging on here like I have the edge of the tape but like I said I'm not worried because it's just mine okay so we're going to take another one and I think you can see it I'm going to take a little bit more let me see do I have I do here it is Oops, grab something else with it. I'm going to take a little bit more washing down here because I'm off the edge of the table. So one, two. Just try to line this up about a sixteenth of an inch, she says. I'm going to put this down here. 
so that I have room. Oh, I am on. Okay. Okay. And actually, I think what I may do, instead of folding this over, I think I may just go ahead and cut it. Okay. So let me peel this up and back. Okay, get that one off. And I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, actually, I can turn this one over. It's the other one I'll cut. Okay. And let's just go ahead and put a piece of tape on that side. I was a little shy there for my tape. Okay. So this one, and I know I'm doing a lot of flipping and I apologize for that. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this off. If I can get it off my finger, get it off my finger. Thank you. And then I'll trim this side. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because you do see the edge of the tape if you fold it over. And I'm right up against that part of the final folder off on that one. Very sticky tape. So this is a little bit neater than that. Okay, so that's a little bit neater. Okay, so let me go back and find my X again because we don't want to do anything with that one. I'm going to just fold this down, okay, I'm going to put that one up here, okay, let's put this on the line, and this does take a few minutes, but if you have the, the double-sided tape like this, let me put this up here, um, you know, the clear one or the craft one, whichever way you would want to go. Um, it's, you know, you don't have to sew it or not a lot of gluing, truthfully. Okay, next one goes. And again, she mentioned that, um, I guess I can put these here. She mentioned that... Um, Uh, go. Okay, I'm trying to remember what she mentioned. Whoops, took a little bit of my washi off there. It's okay, there's more where that came from. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. If I remember, if I remember what it was, I will say. I gotta line this back up again because my washi let go. Um, come on. Trying to get my six, 16th of an inch or so in there. Give or take. All right. Stay down there. Stay down there. All right. And now let's get a piece, hopefully long enough. Yep. And I'm just lining it up. She says go an inch, um, you know, go up to the inch line from here to here kind of thing. And then from here to here, because this tape is two inches. However, because I already have tape on these, I'm just using that to, um, you know, put this tape over sort of as a as a guide. I think I'm going to need another piece there. The washi doesn't last very long. All right, so now let's fold this over. I was a little short on this one too, but that is okay. Okay, and then we're going to flip it to the other side and put another piece of tape here. Okay, so we want to make sure we have enough to cover end to end. And 
then I will just cut these edges off. Okay. So I probably will do better with smaller scissors, perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> perhaps not. <laughs> Okay, and let me flip that around this way, try to get this one off. Like I said, normally, if you use a clear tape, you wouldn't notice it, you know, when you fold it, fold it over the sides, but I'm seeing, this is very sticky, and I don't have my Teflon scissors down here. They are upstairs, so, okay. So I'm pulling up my tape here. Oh, I remember what uh, I was going to say, what Rita said. This is the longest part. This is what takes the longest. <coughs> Excuse me, is putting this together. Um, now, she did six panels. I am doing um, eight because I tend to have a lot of stuff and um yeah okay so i'm trying to make sure that i have enough room for everything now the way it turns out i guess because you glue the one panel down to the cover you have the side that isn't glued down available to you, but you don't have the side that is glued down when you flip it. So that's what happens is this is like an accordion, as you can tell I'm doing that. Um, stop that now. Um, and uh, oh, I shouldn't have put it on there. I shouldn't put it right on there. My washi. Because... Here we go, because it's going to be under my tape. It's not very straight, but that's okay. Um, so you will see how that works. Make sure, I hope I don't get like an abrupt end with this. I may do this in two parts. And the reasoning behind that is because I don't edit. And I do believe that, um, if I recall correctly, that uh, Rita did go off and come back. Um, but I can't do that. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. So I think I'm going to have to take this back and trim that edge because it's not staying down. So, okay. So that is that okay that side and we're going to trim as best as we can my other scissors I think would have been better at doing this but they are upstairs <laughs> okay my little pink scissors with the Teflon on them Everything wants to stick to this, these scissors. So I will probably, probably, probably do the one part. I'm going to try to do it with these because these are just longer. And... Okay. Um, I'm trying to get that off my finger. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to find my X side again. I'm not sure where I put it. Where are you? There's my X. Okay. So you can see it's getting long. Okay. So I'm just going to fold this back and forth a little bit. Bring that there. Do what she did and put not working. <laughs> she put something there to stop it. 
from giving her a problem. Of course, I am still off the page here, so. All right, I have two, three more panels to go. So let me try, let me try to push this up a little bit better. Okay. It isn't the easiest thing to put on the camera, you know, to film. Um, so, okay, there. Okay, let's hope I have that. <laughs> oh, don't come down. <laughs> I am home by myself today because this time, this week, was men's camp. Okay, I didn't need that. Um, so my husband and my brother-in-law are away for the weekend. And this is Saturday late afternoon for me, though this probably won't go up trying to get the washi tape off and it wants to take off part of my cardboard. Um, you know, part of my paper here, my file folders. All right, so let me go back here, flip that over. I wanna turn this tape in. Okay. Put that back there and get another piece and Try to get this on as best as we can. Okay. And then flip this over and try to trim this tape back. Okay, that was one. That worked pretty good. I'm going to stick it to the edge of my table here. Uh, what's going on here? I think I pressed that one down very well. I tr Ooh, I can see I have to trim that again. I truly hope this tape will hold it, you know, and not come undone. Because I think it's coming undone to some degree. Okay, that's a little better trim. Stuck to my scissors, but a better trim. Okay, let me find my X again. That's the key. Because I keep flipping it around, I keep losing the back. Where is my X? It's this one or this one? Is it not? There it is. Okay. All right. And then... I, gotta find <laughs> I have to find the last page. All right, now my last page. Um, I'm barely on screen, but I am on screen. It tends to um, like I said, it's getting a little more bulky. Let me just use this one. And then I'll cut another piece from up here. Um, but yeah, it's, it gets a little more bulky as you go along and I don't have a very big desk here and it's loaded of course it is with all kinds of stuff yet again so you can see my washi's not doing a good job holding there all right there we go all right another piece here and let's it's funny it's Oh, I was going to say, gosh, it's wider than the what I'm doing. That's because I've got a kind of separation between the two pieces. Honestly, Jude, really. <laughs> oh, you'll never accuse me of being a rocket scientist. That's for sure. That is for sure. All right, that one and this one. Actually, I think I'm done with washi, so I think I can get rid of that. 
Okay. Get rid of that. Let me turn this one around and put the sides down here and here. And then try to unroll it a little bit. Get my piece to go on top of this. I'm going to put my tape to the side now because I should be done with tape. Okay. So let me, oh, I might actually do want to go back and actually I'm going to un, unpeel that first part I did instead of trying to fold it over. And, uh, oh yeah. So <laughs> I started to say, um, that I am home alone. It's like really cool weather today. It only stayed in the 60s. Um, so I've got some windows open and the door to the basement is open because I don't have to worry about anybody having the TV on and, you know, making all kinds of noise and all that jazz. Um, actually, you know what? I am not done. <laughs> I do want to peel these out though and trim them if I can. Okay, that's one. Got all kinds of tape now stuck to the edge of my garbage can. All right. And, oh, just knocked a pen out of my thing. This only tells me this is a big project that I should have done on a bigger table. And when I do my second one, I probably will, because I'm not doing that one on camera. Probably just do it on the dining room table or something where there's a lot more room. Now, okay, so this is what we've got. Let me just... I guess it doesn't really matter which way. This way, this way, this way, and this way, and this way. And then I have one more that I have to put down so that there is a flap like this here. So this is what I did, get that tape back. Because of this glue that was here, and I really didn't want to see it, um, that is, whoops. I'm going to try not washi taping this down. Let's see how successful I am. That is why I did this to cover that glue and to give it a bit of an edge. Now, I don't know if I'm right on that one inch line or not, but apparently it doesn't make too much difference. So now peel it off of here. You can see how strong this tape is. It's amazingly strong. Okay, so let me just put this up here. So I was missing this week, had another conference that I had to go to. This one, and I'm holding this up just so that I can see the edge of the file folder paper page here, because the light that I have in front of me kind of shines through and lets me see where the edge of that paper is. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, okay? So yeah, we had what was a pre-retirement conference, which happens frequently um, within 10 years of your uh, going to retire, you know, within 10 years of your retirement. Now, that being said, I am older than my husband. And, um, okay, this isn't gonna have much of a trim here. <laughs> I'm older than my husband and because we work together for the same church, um, yeah, it's not the best, but that's okay. I think it's gonna get covered anyway, right? Um, we have the ability to retire separately or together. Now I'm Four, well, three and a half years, technically, older than him. And because of the years that we were born, our retirement ages change. I retire at 66 years and 10 months, and he retires at 67. So my retirement date ought to be, um, I just want to make sure where I am here. That's that one. Okay. All right. Um, 
So what I'm doing is I'm putting this last panel on up here. I'm gonna, let me put this here. Maybe that'll help me. Um, and I'll get this last panel on because there needs to be a single one when you accordion it back and forth. There needs to be a single panel on either end. Why is this so long? Um, so that some of them are a little longer than others. I did trim them down just a hair um, so that the 12 inch paper would fit. Um, you know, so that I could, you know, turn something over and cover the edges. Um, so yeah. All right. Well, I don't know. Did I just I did a little? No, not really. Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, so our retirement dates vary with with me i would retire the month before i turn 67 um at the on the first of the month and with him he would retire like two days after his birthday um his 67th birthday so that being said i'm just flipping this over oh yeah um, I need to put a piece on this side. Oh, that was wrong. That's okay. I'm not worried about that X because it's now moving to this side. <laughs> um, so, because of um, us being clergy, our church is very generous to us to make sure that when we retire... They kind of give us these lump sums to be able to buy, I'm just going to put these down here, to be able to buy, uh, well, at least to get a mortgage on a house uh, and get some furniture and a, and a vehicle, you know, a car, I'm trying to stay on screen for you as much as possible. Um, of course, my scissors are in my own way here. Um... And the longer we work, the bigger that lump sum of money will get. Um, as if we had been saving that, you know, if we had been in a secular world, as it were, working, um, that we would have been saving, you know, for our retirement kind of thing. Because as clergy, we don't get paid cash-wise very much. Um, and it's kind of hard to save. So uh, anything of significance, at least something that would uh, afford us a home, uh, even if it does have a mortgage um, and a, you know, a car, even if it does have payments and furniture, because <laughs> most people, when they retire, have that stuff. We do not. So, um, you know, like I said, that being said, that is the gist of it. Okay. So here we have single page and this is how it's going to go. So you fold here. And then you have this, and this, and this, and then this. All right, so what we're going to do, bring this back, we're going to glue our panels on, okay? So we want to make sure that we are straight up. There we go. I'm going to get, I'm going to actually do it, no, I'm going to do it on here because these are smaller. Okay. Okay. My glue is doing that volcano thing in here because there's not very much left in the bottle. So it wants to volcano. I see it coming. All right. So we're going to go ahead and glue this here. I don't know how close I am or how off camera I am. So anyway, uh, we're trying to make the determination, should we retire when I retire, which is the end of 2026? Should we retire when he retires, which is the middle of 2030? Or should we retire somewhere in between? Or should I retire and he continue to work until he can collect his social security? Um, but I can continue working at least, you know, part time until I reach my full retirement and then who's working then. Uh, so, you know, that kind of a thing. So we had a lot of 
uh, things to discuss. And since neither one of us ever really worked for companies, he had been self-employed often um, in his career. Uh, so doing like construction and things like that. And um, I never really worked for a corporation that offered retirement funds or things like that. Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm on the side here that is going to open. This is my cover, okay, right side up. And I'm going to take this as carefully as I can, <laughs> flip it over, and put it in the middle as best as possible on this cover as I can. That looks pretty good. Okay. So that's that. So there's cover number one, I think. All right. So it opens like that. Actually, that probably would have been a better way of doing it, wouldn't it? Let me see. Let me see. This is why I love Fabri-Tac. Because <laughs> you can redo things. It's awesome. Okay. Um, you can see me partway. And I'm standing again, so I have a better angle at this. And that is a problem when you do peel Fabri-Tac off. It gets real sticky then. So I want to try to hopefully it won't get my big old head in here. All right. I'm trying to get it as centered as I can. Okay. That should be good. All right. So there's one. Looking at my time here. Okay. So that's that first cover. Okay. Now we're going to go to the back. I'm going to flip this one out. Let's make sure it's right side up. It is. We're going to lay that down. Let's go ahead and put the glue on this. I am really, really close. I'm going to try to get up a little higher there. Sorry about being so close all this time. Um, but that shows you the construction of the book. Okay. And in part two, which I will just put back to back with this uh, when I post it, probably not till the middle of next week. Um, so when you see it, you'll be seeing it, but I'm just saying it's going to be a few days before I actually put this up. So I'm saying it's Saturday and when you see it, it'll probably be like Wednesday or something when I put it up. So I'll go more on here. All right, there we go. That should be okay. If I have to go around any edges, I will. So what we're going to do here is let's lift this up. That's the upside, okay? This is my upside right here. I'm going to take this panel. And I am going to lean over and try to line this up as equally as I can. Okay, and like so. All right. So I'm going to turn that, press this down. Okay. That glue off of there. All right, we get that all down like so. All right, so that is that as far as our book is concerned. So this is what happens, okay? It's your front cover. You open it up go like that. You go like that. You go like that. You go like that. That's project number one. This side, you go like that, okay? That's why that's glued down. So you have less pages on this side. 
here, here, and here. And then that closes because that's the other side again. Okay. So that's what we have at this video point. It's at about just past a few seconds past 55 minutes. I'm going to stop. I'll come back with the second video and it'll be posted immediately after. Uh, probably, like I said, on Wednesday. We'll be putting in the pockets and I'm going to put a pocket on the front of each side of this so that you can slide a card in and out according to whatever project you're doing. Um, and you can also then list on that card all the paper packs that you are using so you can keep track of them. And that's that. So that's it for the moment, guys. Um, I hope that wasn't too confusing <laughs> um, because it was really kind of a big flippy floppy kind of thing, but you get the idea. And I will uh, continue on in part two in just a few moments. So in the meantime, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And I'll see you almost immediately in the next video. Bye-bye for now.